And there you go, a simple smooth ball bouncing animation. So on my screen, I have this simple ball image and to the bottom of this, I'll just draw an ellipse, which is a very small one and it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna place it on the center right here and I'm gonna place the ball a little higher so that it starts from here. I'm gonna group both of these into a frame and then take it outside and I'm gonna create this a component and add a variant to this. So here we have two variants and in the second variant, I'm gonna place the ball at the bottom exactly touching this and the circle at the bottom is gonna increase. This is nothing but your shadow. So it's gonna become something like this. Looks good. And just add the interactions, right? So going to prototype mode, adding a link from the first variant to the second one. This is gonna be after delay of one millisecond because you wanted to start immediately without any interaction. So 300 milliseconds looks good. And this is gonna be ease in. And I'm gonna apply the same settings back to the first one. So again, after delay, one millisecond. So I'm gonna copy the first variant and place it inside the frame right here, aligning it to the center of the page. Let's play this. You see that there's a jerk, right? Because of the easing properties and that makes a lot of difference. So as soon as I change this interaction to the second interaction here to ease out, you'll see a difference, right? So now do you see the difference? That gives it a more uh, natural feel to the bounce. And the other thing you can do is also select this image right here and you can change this to crop and make sure that your ratio, aspect ratio is turned off. And I'm gonna slightly reduce this so that you see that compression of the ball as well, right? So with this, let's run it again. And there you go a simple, smooth ball bouncing animation. For more such content, definitely follow Design Extreme and I'll catch you in the next one.